welcome back to my channel. I'm Melanie and I do everything budgets here on this channel. I'm filming in the morning and my allergy medicine has not kicked in so sorry if I sound nasally but it has been a week. It's been a good week but y'all it's been busy this week and I have not had a chance to come on to do a budget with me video so I'm gonna go ahead and combine my budget with me and my first week of August okay so I went ahead and wrote it out and if you would like the worksheets that I'm using they're completely free I am NOT a budgeting guru I am not a financial expert. I am a teacher that gets paid once a month. And through the hard knocks of life, I have learned how to stretch a paycheck for the month. Just through trials and errors. And uh, this is how I do it. And this is how I'm able to uh, do the cash stuffing envelope system on a weekly basis. So... If you want the downloads, they're completely free and they're in the description box below. So, I already know what my magic number is for the week and a magic number is just the amount that I will be aiming towards to stuff on a weekly basis. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little. Make sure you can see everything. I have it covered a little just to help me so that I can explain the steps very quickly. Okay, so this is for the month of August. So my step one is I need to put what I made for the month of August and anything else. So for the month of August, this was my paycheck. And then because this is my birthday month, this is how much money I got for my birthday. Everybody pretty much just gives me cash. It's easier that way because we all live out of town from each other. We try we try to get together for lunch, but it's been kind of crazy because my birthday always lands right at the beginning of the school year when I'm in teacher meetings and professional development. So it's, it's always stressful. So anyways, <laughs> this is what I'm working with. So what I do is I take... I take this right that's my step one my second step is I list my essentials now everybody's essentials you know I say this with a grain of salt everybody's essentials are different my essentials that I have now are not what I had four years ago or even three years ago even though I've been teaching for a long time I get a huge chunk I think about a fourth of my check is taken out just in health insurance. My, I don't know what my new job, the insurance is going to look like yet. But I do know that with my previous district, I was paying well into the $1,200 a month for health insurance to my, for my entire family. So my contribution to the house is insurance and groceries. Now, I don't have a car payment. I don't have credit card debt anymore. So these are my essentials. I have my car insurance, which is $78 a month, and it's for full coverage. A lot of y'all were like, whoa, that's that's not a lot of money. I'm, I'm with Geico. This is not sponsored, but I shopped around, and I found a full coverage rate, comprehensive, for $78. Then my phone plan, this is for both my son and I. My husband has his own separate plan. So this is for two iPhones and an iPad. And so you total them and that comes out to this amount. Okay. So then what you do on your next step is you add everything in your essentials. Oh, and don't forget a buffer always include a buffer you know I try to follow the zero balance budget where you take everything out of your bank account but as a mom I just can't because there's days where I need to use my debit card 
So I do leave a $50 buffer in there just for some wiggle room. Sometimes I leave a hundred and this is not the only buffer I have. I leave a buffer every month. So this adds up over time. Okay, so now you add all those up and this is what I'm working with on my total bills for the month. I know it seems low, but remember, I pay a lot of health insurance. So even though I don't have like mortgage, car, credit card, utilities, I have a health insurance bill that's 1,200 and change. So it just, it's taken out before I even see it. Okay, so now what I do for step four, no, step three, sorry, is I take I take this amount, right? This amount right here. And I subtract it from my essentials. And this is what I end up with. $3,014. From there, step four is where we find our magic number. So I take $3,014 and I divide it by four because there's four weeks in August. And I come up with 700 and it actually was a little different. It was like, what is it? Let me see. I'll tell you right now. Cause I always see the round up or round down 3,014 divided by four. Yeah. So it's 753.50. I just rounded it up to four. So $754 is my magic number. So every week now, Every week, my goal is to stuff $754 because I like to save the majority of my paycheck. My The majority of my paycheck goes into my sinking funds and my savings challenges, and that's exactly where I want it to go. So that's how I'm working it. And if you look, You'll notice, let me zoom out. Okay, so I already wrote out my tracker for this week and you'll see that I'm working with a $754 budget. So everything on here will equal $754. And I, guys, I am so excited. So my last video, if you noticed, oh, did I, I make a mistake? Okay. So, I've been doing this since April. So, April, May, June, July. This is August. We're into the fifth month, right? Let's just count it as... Okay, so March, April, May, June, July. Five months. In five months, guys, look what I've saved. This is on a teacher budget. $9,245. I am so excited about that. So, let's go ahead and get started. And so, this is what I'll be working with this week. It'll be off to the side. So, let me get it set up and then we'll begin. Okay, guys. So, let's go ahead and get started. Here's my money for the week. Let's count it out to make sure we have everything that we're supposed to have we're dealing with seven hundred and fifty four dollars so let's begin let's make sure I have everything right 50s I'm gonna keep off way off to the side or I'm gonna keep the weight I'm gonna keep the 50s I have 50s this week so I'm gonna keep them way in the front here we go 51 52 so that's two hundred dollars 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 560, 70, 80, 90, 
600, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 700, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so 750, And then one, two, three, four, seven hundred and fifty-four dollars. Okay, so we have everything lined up and spread out. Okay, so we can go ahead and move my little green. Yeah, um, some of you have already found these at the Target Dollar Spot or the Red Zone. Some of they're the Dollar Spot. I went to Target about a week ago and I saw some still there. So it's just a cute little reusable envelope. So let's go ahead and work in my envelope first. I'm just gonna move my binders off to the side. Okay, so this week, oh my gosh, it's been such a busy week. How are you guys doing? Have y'all gone back to school if you're teachers? So we have one more week of in-service, getting our room ready and professional development. I, I have some friends that begin teaching on Monday, so oh. It's just crazy. So I have tons of ones and change and I've actually figured out a little bag that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna repurpose it for my ones. So when we get to the $1 challenge, I'll show it to you. But my my little slide zipper, oh dear, this is, <laughs> my little zipper, It it's not working properly. It, it doesn't close so if you know how to fix this let me know I may have to order a new one but I'm I love this little pouch if you know how to fix the zippers or the slides whatever you call them let me know oh if it was stuffed man okay so <laughs> I have let's put in the change and then we'll count the dollars I told you I had a lot of change. And this was me giving a lot of it away. Like if I needed exact change or something, I would I would give it. Okay, so now in the piggy jar we have $48.18 and let's see how many ones we have. So let me go ahead and unfold these. Yeah, it was so busy this week. I started my first week of my new school. I really love it. I, I am so in love with my new school and everybody is just the nicest and helpful and just I feel almost a little guilty because I miss my co-workers from my previous school but I and I miss the kids of course but um, I just I needed a change a breath of fresh air and some I had been at my previous school for 10 years and I love that little school, but it just, towards, you know, the, the this last year, and even the year before, I was already feeling like, <sighs> it was just, when you need a change, you need a change, and it was time for a change. So, I really love my new school. Okay. So, let's see how many ones we have. Move along, little piggy. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I have seventeen dollars in ones, guys. I think that's the most I've ever had. Okay, so you can see my envelope. Oh, sorry. My envelope is empty. I have 
five dollars left in groceries nothing in dining nothing in fuel and i have ten dollars left in coffee i only went one day it wasn't too bad okay so i'll put these off to the side they'll go into my rollover in just a minute so let's go ahead and stuff my envelope and look it doesn't close look it doesn't it doesn't matter which way I slide it, it's not closing. Okay. So because August is my birthday month, I indulge myself and this is the only month of the year that I do this. Here's the breakdown for my wallet this week, okay? Okay, so my envelope gets a hundred dollars. You know what? I think I'm going to do 20s in my envelope. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Oops. Only because I put a $100 bill in it last, last week. It was so hard to break. I actually had to break it at the grocery store. So... I think I'm just going to put the 20s. Yeah, 20s in there. Okay, groceries is getting 120. So that'll get two 50s and a 20. Okay. Dining is getting 80 and this will be the last week I'm doing dining. I'm actually taking two days off of work this next week to take my son to Lubbock. I'm moving him into his dorm this week. Oh my god, I can't believe it. So yeah, well, I'll be needing this. Okay, fuel is getting 20. And then, am I putting anything in coffee? No, nothing in coffee, which is fine. Okay, so my wallet is done. Okay, so on to my short-term sinking funds. The first thing is rollover, so these $15 that were in rollover go in there okay so now rollover has okay rollover has 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 55 dollars Next is Beauty. Beauty is getting ten dollars. So I'll put it right here. So now Beauty has one hundred, twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, ninety-five, two hundred. Two hundred in Beauty. car is getting 40. I really need new tires, guys. I keep saying it. I hope I have enough. Let me see. I might have reached my goal because I think they're around $600. I, I have the quote. I need to look at it, but it's around 600 So let me go ahead and put the 20s. Let's see. 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 420, 440, 460, 470, 480, 
481, 482. No, not quite yet. Getting closer. Is that right? 482? Yeah. 482. I was just checking. Okay, next is clothing. Clothing is getting nothing. I was very bad this week. I did not work out. I did not lose any weight. In fact, I gained a pound, but I'm not taking it out. Once it's in the envelope, it's in the envelope. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe next week. Okay, Sassy Lassie, my Etsy shop, is getting $10. And as soon as school dies down a little, like the beginning of the year, where's all the money? Oh. <laughs> um, as soon as school settles down, like I get into a routine, I will start working on this shop. Okay, so at Sassy Lassie, Etsy has 100, 200, 300, 400, 410, 420, 430. Four hundred and thirty dollars. Okay, travel. Travel's getting a fifty. So I already have my airline tickets for this week, but I need to go ahead and buy airline tickets for definitely October, but I'm debating if I it depends on if my son wants me to come up in September. I'm on the fence about it because I want to give him a chance to mesh with his roommate and get a routine going. I really want him to get that college experience. And if I'm going up there all the time, I feel like I'll be helicopter mom. So I'll, I'm saving in case I need to go in September, but... I don't know if I will, but I'm definitely going in October because that's parents weekend. Okay, so now let's see. Travel has 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 450. Work is getting $10. And these are, this is just for anything I need, especially if I buy it off of Teachers Pay Teachers or something like that, or it's a coworker's birthday. So now work has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. Okay, that's it for my short-term sinking funds. On to my long-term sinking funds. Okay, so Ben is getting $25, and I need some fives. I'm gonna do, okay, I'm gonna put these fives here and take a 10. Okay, so now we're ready. 20, five, so now, all right, so now Ben has, and he really wants a job when he gets up there. He's talking about working in the dining hall, and I'm super excited that he has that initiative and that drive to want to work, to contribute towards his college. That really is important, but this money that I'm saving for him is just in case he finds that he can't work because, you know, if his college hours are, what am I trying to say? If, if the workload becomes to where, because he is going to be a full-time student. So if the workload becomes where he has to just focus on his work, I'd rather him do that and me send him an allowance so that work doesn't take away study time. But I am really proud of him that he does want to work. I, I left it up to him, but I did 
give a, a little like caveat saying, I'm fine with you working part time, but if your grades or your studies suffer, we need to quit so you can focus on your studies. So we'll see. But right now, Ben has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 50, 70, 90, 600, 605, 610. So Ben has 610 now. Okay, extra week. It's getting its normal $40. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 605, 610. So now, extra week has all oh, the stickers. That's what's throwing me off. Okay, extra week has, it should have 540. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 40, 540. Emergency. I'm so excited about this one because I went ahead and deposited the money into my high yield savings account through Capital One. It's already hit the bank, so... I actually have two savings accounts now with Capital One. I have my emergency, which is at one thousand dollars, and so I'm not, I'm not putting money in this one anymore. And then the second one is my 10K challenge. This one, and that one has two thousand dollars in it now. I'm super excited. Oh, it feels so nice to have a savings account. And so I guess it's really just one savings account, but I really like the Capital One because they can break it up and you can label it into categories. So it, it's very helpful for budgeters. Okay, so next is my dollar savings challenge. Okay. Okay, so I've had this bag forever. It's an old makeup bag. I got it as a Christmas present probably 10, 11 years ago, and I love this bag. I just can't get rid of it. And I was trying to figure out what I could put my dollar bills in. And I didn't want to buy anything else right now. So I've decided this is going to be my... When this envelope gets too full, they're all going to go in here. So, and what better day? I have 17 $1 bills, right? So let's go ahead. Let me write that down real quick. I have 17. I think it was 17, right? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we have $17 there. We have all my ones right here. So let's see how much I have. So that's 17. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, So $56 in ones. Wow, look at that. And so I will just going to use this bag if you see hair on it <laughs> I used to use it for makeup every single day I had it in the car with me and I'd put my makeup on in the car when I got to school I don't do that anymore that's how old this is but yeah we're gonna put this money oh my allergies this morning we're gonna put all this money in here so there it is you can see all the makeup <laughs> it's okay the money doesn't mind and that will be my dollar savings challenge when this gets too full. Okay, next is my 10K savings challenge. Okay, so let's see. This is the first week of August, so I need to stuff $100. So 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100 so i'm gonna put that there it's so thin because i put the 2k the 1k slips in there okay so now just need to mark this off i can't 
can't believe. Look how much is already done. So I started late. So my year will be right here in what, March? Yeah. By the end of March, I'll have 10,000. My goal with this money is to maybe buy a car. We'll see. Okay. That's it for my long-term sinking funds. On to my celebration binder. Last time I almost forgot to fill miscellaneous. That wasn't right. Okay, so I have to make sure to fill all of them. Okay. First, girl trip is getting ten dollars so now girl trip has one hundred two hundred three hundred four hundred four twenty four forty four fifty four fifty five Christmas is getting 10. I'm I'm debating on when to cap it. We'll see. I'm thinking maybe I don't know. Maybe 800. We'll see. I don't know. So now Christmas has 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 480, 490. $4.90 for Christmas. I don't know. We'll see. I'm debating on when to cap it. Okay. My envelope is getting nothing this week because I spent all my money. Miscellaneous is getting $10. So now Miscellaneous has... Twenty, forty. 50, let's count this. Twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, seventy-five. Seventy-five dollars in miscellaneous. Okay, onto my rainy day fund. So this week, so this week, it rained on the first, it rained on the second, and it rained on the fifth. So that's $8 for the week. So what I do is I look at the calendar. Since we're at the beginning of the month, the numbers will be smaller. So it rained August 1st, August 2nd, and August 5th. That totals $8. So let me go ahead and get $8. 5, 6, 7, 8. And now we have in our rainy day fund, let's see. Okay, we have 120, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, $41. $141. You know, at the beginning of the month, it's pretty easy because the numbers are really small, but towards the end, if it's raining a lot at the end of the month, this is where this envelope can fill up quickly. Okay, on to 52 card pickup. You know what, before we do that though, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so I am filling today. Let me make sure I wrote it down because this is where it screws me up when I don't write it down. Yeah, I wrote it down, thank goodness. Yeah, I wrote it right here. Okay, so I am stuffing envelope 41 i don't really have envelopes for these i save everything in the um did i leave it open oops okay i stuff it in my piggy bank right there so i'm stuffing number 41 i just wanted to make sure i was coloring the right one because it's the start of a row and my eyes are 
some mornings my eyes are really you know on point and then others especially my allergies are acting up oh even with glasses so okay so we're stuffing $41 in here so let me get the 41 so 20 30 41 wow that worked out okay so 41 dollars goes in here so i'm just is that it yeah that's all of it okay so i separated all the money this last time when i was doing my cash unstuffing and condensing so maybe i should I'm going to try and keep it separated. We'll see. There's the 10s. And then the 20s. There's the 20s. Okay. So, look at all that. That's to save $5,050 by the end of this 100 envelope challenge. Now, this money is going towards my Roth IRA for 2022. So... Yeah, get those Roth IRAs and always put the maximum in. They will help you out in the long run. Okay, so next is my 52 card pickup. Where's my vacation? I can't find my vacation. Hold on. Okay, well, I'm really annoyed because I can't find my vacation envelope. And that's where I keep all my used cards that we've played. But to be quite honest, we've had a painter in the house this week. And my husband has moved so many things around. So, and since I film in the kitchen, I don't keep this stuff in the kitchen, but... My setup is in the kitchen, so I don't know where my vacation envelope is. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and get started. So what we're gonna do, how much money do we have this week? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, we have $60. Okay, so we can, if we get an ace, then we can only do one. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead Okay, so just divide it up. Here we go, it's so low. Oh, okay, so now let's pick our cards for 52 card pickup. Okay, we have a, a, a five. Let's see what else. A 10, that's 15. Let me move them where you can see them. 5, 10, 15. Ooh. That's 24. 5, yeah. Oh my god, I'm really playing with fire here. 24, okay. So $34. Do we try another one? No. Well, no, we're gonna leave it. So $34. Okay, let me mark the, so here are the cards. And I can't find my vacation. God, that really annoys me. Okay, so here are the cards. Let me mark them off the envelope. Okay. So you can see here, I marked them off. Here they are, and if I can find my vacation envelope, I'd put them in there. I'll find it. It's here somewhere. So, here are the cards. Ten of clubs, nine of spades, five of spades, ten of diamonds. I guess I'll just set them there for now. So, now we need, how much did I say? Let's see. We need 10, 20, 25, $34. So, we need $34. So I'll do a 40. Two, wait, how much? One, two, three, four, 
I need six dollars change. Let's see if oh, there's no six. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get some change out of here. So I'll get. Uh, let me get a five and five ones. So I'm just making change right now. So one, two, three, four, five. And then a $5 bill. And then I'm gonna put a 10 in here. Okay. Put all this back. I love playing with this stack of money. Anytime I get a chance to touch it, I love it. Okay, so here we go. So now we have the right amount of money. that can't open okay so we need $34 so we already have 30 so 31 32 33 34 10 20 30 31 32 33 34 34 dollars let me write this down Okay, and now we have, let's put them, okay, so we'll put all the tens and the ones. Okay, so now we have 150, 200, 250, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 294 dollars in our 52 card pickup. And then the last one, I guess you would call this my $5 savings challenges, but it's not really $5. It, it can go anywhere from five to 50. So we have 10, 20, 30, we have $35. Let's see what we pull. Okay, so I'm just gonna, it's really hard to get in here. Okay, so, oh, <laughs> we, <laughs> We got $30. That was easy. Okay, so that's 30. And then if I can find a five, we'll stuff a five. I think the fives are getting harder to find because I think I've stuffed most of them. Let me see. in here let me put these away yeah the fives are getting harder and harder to find because I think I've stuffed most of them even though they're mixed up in here okay so this is this okay so now Oh, I can't forget to put this back. Okay, that goes in there. Where's that dollar? Oh, okay. okay. I got all flustered because of those cards. Okay, so now I'm going to just take this one dollar. I always have a dollar left over or something like that. So I just stick it in my wallet in the little roll over and that's it and then I repurpose one dollar bag <laughs> all right guys thanks for joining I hope you had a good time hanging out with me if you like this video please give it a like subscribe to the channel what could I hurt it's free have a great weekend make good choices bye